again ladies and gentlemen welcome again to my channel here is Andrew Henry talking to you today we'll be talking about many features and many tips about, about the comic page we got many tips and tricks and important points we'll be talking about today page size, board map, influence map, page structure how to apply story aspects and dimensions for shortening and dynamics okay well for first scene I will be drawing while I'm to talking and teaching you today page from Tales of Silence a black and white comic that will, it will be featured on book of short stories I'm planning to come up with maybe it's at the end of this year or the next year okay so about the page size for the first one page size is a very important matter to many artists who doesn't work on the United States of America and many others who work at the United States and don't know how to get the comic board. Sometimes it's hard to get the art supply. So I have accompanied with this video a template, page template, PSD file and a GPG file. So you can find the difference between the both the full board page and the safe area page you will be able to draw on. So I'm trying to make things easier with attaching these couple files. It will be uploaded to uh, Google Drive and downloaded to understand what I'll be telling you now. As you're seeing here is the full board comic page you will be buying from an art supply store. It's 27.97 in 41.99 centimeters. Okay. As inches, you will have to transform this into inches. The files are already uploaded, so please download them and calculate them in inches if you would like to do. Um, those are for the full board comic, um, including the safe area and the areas that the printer may cut and may, cut, may not cut according to the editor, according to, according to your options and the difference between printer and another, okay? Well, as for, for the safe area only, page size it's 24 and 37.96 centimeters, okay? So, difference between this area is the actual size you will find while, uh, while drawing in Clip Paint Studio and if you'd like to draw directly through Photoshop. So make it easier on yourself and try to drawing on this page size, okay? As for artists that doesn't have such option to draw on this size and don't draw how to know, draw directly on the Photoshop or clip paint or whatever you are trying to do while drawing with graphic tablet so you will have to if you have to draw by your hand manually pencils on paper sometimes I draw on A3 papers uh, print papers uh, or A4 papers. I adjust them while I'm working and inking them in the clip paint studio and I just adjust them to dimensions of the comic book industry page of the standard and default page. Okay? Sometimes I adjust it after I finish the whole page. I adjust it between the left and right and scale it down it does it sometimes it the panels does get 
shrunk down and can the look off to the eye of the reader so I try to avoid this issue lately so I don't try to not do this anymore turning to the page I told you about from Tales of Silence comic book that I will be printing at the end of this year well the process of making this comic page took me about two hours and a half two hours and a half I'll be speeding this to and adjusting the time and duration of this video to half an hour okay so as for the board map here is the difference between the board map and the influence map the board map is uh, data you collect to design a single character you already got your own style okay F but you have to design a specific character this is what I did when I had to design this angel. Um, I had to think about the armor and give it some time, some design of ancient knight and looking to other stuff done by artists like Rick Apollo. You can find it in the comics of Spawn a couple lines, a couple of tips from a character called Redeemer. And here is another issue I'll be drawing, you will find I'm fixing it, is his right leg. So as we are talking about other important stuff, you will find that I'm changing some of his the anatomy of his right leg. I found it some time hard to draw it from this perspective so I had to change the camera and try again, try... I got pissed off so I tried again later. The most important stuff is that I don't leave it undone. So I put much effort in it and tried. If I can fix it now, I'll leave it for later, but never leave your work. Art is never finished, art is only a band. Okay. As for the board map, Google is very important step for all of us artists. So keep in mind when you try to design a character, maybe if you design a pizza baker, maybe you will have to study more about the Italian restaurants and an Italian inner decoration about restaurants, dishes, and uniform, some table decorations, pattern, other stuff like this. It's very important to look at other artists too, but try to avoid it and look directly into the nature things about maybe the pizza shape and the character, the chefs and other stuff that makes your influence more unique and very artistic way than the other artists. Some other artists copy and mimic other other ones without thinking and without giving it any thoughts to the designs come out as a disaster. As for the influence map, here is the difference between the board map and the influence. The influence map is the thing that helps you to get your own unique style, your own unique theory, your own unique thinking. Influence map is how to get your own style sight on art through colors, theories, and all the things that allow you to reach your own here is the thing, your own design of masses, your own lines. I will be making a video how to strengthen your lines and how to make a very loose lines and get um, fine lines out of it. Details, if you are going to add details or if you are not, okay. And colors, color wheel. The motion. So here we got one, two, three, four, five. 
five major points to help you build your own influence map. The mass, the line, the detail, the color wheel, and the motion. The masses, I already made a couple of videos how to design a character, how to shape a character based on basic masses, square, circle, adjusting and morphing them. I, I, I morphed the heart to heart shape to and made a, car, a character face, alien face out of it. It's very important to understand how you can make a mass with the right weight. Remember, always remember that this character, this creature you're going to design is going to move. So when you are trying to build the math, keep this in your mind. I will make I'm speaking about this matter too in later videos. But now let's move to the next one. The lines. The lines are very important if you are going to make it thick, thin, slick, dynamic, moving forward or backward or whatever trying to draw with lines cross hatching it's very important the lines will define your mood define your message define your own thoughts to the reader it's like sharing the reader your inner feelings and the most successful books the most successful works that keeps the reader into your works and makes him focus more on your works is through the lines. Moving between the lines, the lines are the outer sh shapes that helps you to connect the masses, the limbs together with each other. As for the details, here's the thing that most of us don't understand. Many, art many artists love to build fine shapes with solid lines and try to keep it away from details. Is it bad? Absolutely not. Details, some artists love to add details. Details helps to get the capture and the grip of what's building into the scene, what's happening into the guy, this character, close atmosphere, and many other aspects about this character. But here's the thing when I try to draw the armor. I could have avoided the bracelets, the gauntlets that the angel is wearing, okay? But I didn't do this because I love adding details on that gauntlet. So it's up to me if I want to leave it or want to add details. The only, the, the most thing that matters in this drawing that if I, I am I satisfied with the final result? Can I deliver the message? Can I deliver the feeling, the atmosphere of this page that I wanted to draw? With details or less details? Keep this in your mind, always ask yourself and you reach your own specific, your own unique answer and from this answer move forward to find your own influence map, to find your own style. Don't let anyone else tell you which style you should pick. It's annoying, it's boring and it will keep you depressed and push you away from your own objectives and your own thoughts, your own visionary. So keep in mind that what do you want to do with the masses, the lines and details. When I have done those three I move to the color wheel. If I'm going to color a page or character, whatever commission I'm drawing, I used to wonder and ask myself how does the, they color this amazing colors in the comics? It's 
called what's the name of this cuddling style it's called cuts oh yeah let's try to learn cuts it's amazing so i start learning cuts here and there i even tried remember coloring with uh, color doji and the color shadows it was very dusty and dirty drawings with so bad contrast and look like burnt image very disappointing to look at after that I have learned from a couple of tutorials from DeviantArt and other artists to ask them how can I make cuts tones and other stuff like so I learned how to do cuts. After a while I colored a couple of pages for George Molina, Zorda M by the name, Deviant Art, hoping to be picked up by Marvel, but after a while I found that he's not interested in my artwork, while others looked at my artwork and find it very amusing. But I left and didn't like like it anymore to draw cuts, cause I love anime and loved cartoons. Captured my eyes, captured my soul. So I wanted to learn how can I color the same thing, the same time. I found an artist called Jeffrey Cruz Chamba that used to color with thing called the sand shades. This thing I'm calling telling you it's about the 2003 2004 maybe. At the same time I didn't like the thing about the comics that hold held many shadows at this time so I had to understand how can I use cell shades so I tried moving all the commissions and trying to draw those do them in cell shade even even if it sucks and other ones that wanted to do commissions told me please do can you do this in cuts so I had to redo coloring the commissions it was a very long journey until I found my own way and my own color wheel until now I am even discovering every day something new so I don't care anymore about what rules I'm making what I only I keep in mind I want amazing results so I always keep this in check the color wheel is very important are you depressed are you curious or you dreamer what's your feeling what's your will what's your story what's the character you're drawing is what universe did it come from what if is it supposed to look green why is it supposed to look yellow and many other things according to this and the last point that influenced me is emotion when you try to open a comic book and look at the page, I won't tell about any specific artist or any specific comic to be exact because I hate doing this to when others do it to my work so I wouldn't do, I would, don't want to do this to other artists, okay? So when you open a comic book and find it, the, the panels doesn't seem right and the camera angle angles is not very fun to look at the perspective is not good enough the character design kind of sucks and the costume design is not that enough but this artist got something that many other artists doesn't have. What is it? It's things that you find that like character moving freely between the panels. 
this is called motion. It's very important to pay attention to this specific thing. The motion is very important for us, for comic artists and manga artists, storyboard artists too. The motion is where the character maybe you can find here in this panel that the page before it, this bird character with black hair is falling, falling into deep water maybe and don't know how he's going to survive such such thing and so scared, so worried, don't know what to do. Ah, ah. And suddenly this character and angelic character appear from nowhere holding his grip hand by fast with his soul stance. Well this here is the motion versus still. When you look at this part you find that I have made the difference and made a contrast in the movement in the page, in the motion of the page. Cursor is moving and his limbs one lifts it up and the other is tilted down with his head kind of tilted and look down scared while the other character is standing still not caring about anything is so full of himself and got his ego completely doesn't regret about anything he can't stand against anything and when you look at the panel after that you will find that this naked character is looking just move his head to look at the angel so here is the thing that's called motion motion is the thing the ability to be able to move from panel to another to tell a story storytelling it's very important to remember this while you are working and making a page so many other artists doesn't remember this motion sometimes they when the characters are moving at the street and there is a sword left and right you will have to remember which stores are on the left and which other ones are on the right so uh, someone many author many artists get confused between the left and right and make a very funny <laughs> panels out of it so when you look at the comic you don't make anything then laugh and can't get to know if this guy if this dude who drawn it is serious and if this writer who drawn it did, did he even care about this book or not so he was the influence man as for the page structure space structure uh so usually try to go from one panel to six panels at maximum if you're more going to make more panels than six you are free to do so of course but consider in mind that you'll have you must make the reader eye impressed so he can look at your work and find it amusing, but never get bored of it. There's many tips and many things to tell about this matter. So we're going to tell it in another episode. I'm going to turn each thing into an episode. Uh, maybe this one I have told you about the page size, and the next one is I'm going to tell you how to build board map based on other artists. Maybe I'll be featuring other artists too and talking to him. I'll try to find a guest for my next video if I can do this. And applying story aspects on that image. When you try to write a story, always keep in mind what's going to happen in the end. Before you get involved into the events between the start and the end and what's going to happen to this character after the story starts remember what is going to happen at the end 
are they going to kill each other? Are you going to love each other? Are you going to sue revenge? Are you going to get, get their goals? Are they going to do that to do this? And after you have learned this through the, the start of the story and the end of the story, keep in check and start asking yourself why, where, and when. I told you before, it's very important. It's golden three W's, where, why, and when. It's very important to help you as a universe creator, comics creator, whatever story you're trying to create, this will be so helpful to you. As for the foreshortening, foreshortening is the ability to make things into kinder like perspective. It's not perspective, but it's called foreshortening for something. Foreshortening is like the hands are so close to your eyes while the face is far away so it got blocked by the hand. It is a very simple define about for shortening. You, you can find many other important books about telling you how to do for shortening and how to adjust it to your own tastes. Try to avoid it if you don't know how to draw anatomy so well and how to build masks. So it's very important first to be able to get your own influence map. Get your own designs, masses, lines, details, color wheel, and motion. After that, you move to make a foreshortening. You'll find it easy. And you'll find it more easier if you learn and listen to my usual advice to draw some gesture. It's very important to draw gestures to make your job so far much easier than you even think. Other thing is the dynamics. The difference between foreshortening and dynamics. Foreshortening is in the light. Many calls dynamic and foreshortening side coin side names for the same coins, side faces for the same coin. But foreshortening, I just told you, dynamics is how you understand the mechanism of the body, so you can adjust it to look forward with his own hand too much or backward adjusting it to the background adjusting it to perspective and other stuff it's some um, it's many artistic series so i may differ with other artists and i may agree with other artists so Whatever works to help you and to let you be able to create your own style, your own cameras, your own influence map to help you create your board map, you'll find that it's very easy to draw foreshortening, dynamics and perspective in a matter of time. Well, here's the thing that many others try to stay away from its texts and the balloons well I have never tried making talking balloons in Clipin Studio I have tried to make it in Photoshop I'll make a very quick episode how to make a lettering and help you how to get the grip, how to create a talking balloons, very, uh, making very easy steps to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so all of us can know and can understand. Here is the motion I am telling to you now, getting back to it, I am making the character with the beard and the hair in the blurry, so it's shocked and looked at this angel character doesn't know what's happening and it will be followed by another panel that this angel is going to be changed to another character so and it's still 
character that will be in the same side of the panel as this bearded black black bearded character. So I'm making it look like motion is shrug and move too quick. Well, thanks again guys for watching. Hope I added something new to you. You'll be featuring each point of this video in a single video based of this object and we'll be learning together how to break into the industry and how to reach our goal to be a perfect and more professional artist and if you're going to be a mangaka a comic book artist or if you are going to be a storyboarder for animation too. many thanks again guys for watching if you like this video please subscribe we have got many more to share many more to tell looking forward to talk to you again and goodbye